the circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Whitey! Whitey! Oh, oh, it's you, Jerry. Hi there! I wondered where you disappeared to. Thought you were coming back to help me with the horses. I, I was, Whitey, but, but Rags is gone. Rags? Yeah, I locked him up in our wagon, but during the fire, somehow he must have got out. When I got back, the door was open, and, and he must have got frightened by the fire or something. I don't know. He never runs away. I... Rags is your dog, huh? Yeah, and he's all I got, Whitey. I just can't go away without him. Nonsense, son. The circus will be out of here in a couple hours. You're not going to stay behind because of some little mud dog. You don't understand. He's all the family I got, except an uncle I can't even find. Gee, Whitey, we've been hungry together. And... Oh, you don't understand. Oh, I guess I kind of get the idea, kid. You sure he's not in the circus lot any place? I don't see how he could be. I've been calling him for hours, seems like, and I've been trying to watch all the wagons and things as they headed for the station. Oh, you poor kid. Listen, I got to keep moving, but jump on and I'll take you on into town. Now, he may have followed some of the audience during the fire. Maybe he's gone back to where you used to live. Gee, I, I never thought of that. Golly, I'm dumb. No, you're not. You're just plumb tired out. You've had enough excitement in the past 12 hours to last most boys a month of Sundays. Hop on. I got to get moving. Hut boy! Gee, but it's good to sit down for a while. Hmm. I thought you were kind of done up. Had anything to eat? Not since dinner. Hmm. That was six, and now it's after two. Uh, reach under the seat there. You'll find a bag of apples. Oh, thanks. Guess I am kind of hungry. Hmm, boy. Here, Rag. I want to be sure I don't pass him on the way in. Oh, you'll probably find him back where you used to live. Dogs usually go back home. You're right. Of course, we haven't had much of a home. He probably doesn't know yet our home's in the wagon I locked him up in. Whitey, I just gotta find him. We just gotta stay with this circus. Rag! Rag! Wait, where, where are you going, Whitey? Oh, oh that's right. Uh, this is a shortcut to the station. I forgot. Uh, we missed part of the town this way. You, you want to get off here? Yeah, we were staying in a boarding house just a little ways from here. Hi there! Easy boy, hi! Now, listen, Jerry, when you get down to that station, uh, sure, by a quarter of three, that's when the last train pulls out. If I find rags, I will. Jerry, it's great to feel that way about a dog. I'm proud of you, but your life belongs to the circus. The way you helped out at that fire tonight. Oh, that, that was nothing. And it was everything. And we need boys and men like you. Now, get that dog if you can, but remember, the circus has to go on, and you don't want to throw away your whole life just for... Uh, uh, for... Thanks, Whitey, but I can't give up rags. But if I don't find him in time, you can just bet I'll get back to the circus somehow. Got any money? No, but... Well, then, how are you going to eat? Oh, I can work. Oh, you're too young. They'll pick you up and put you in an orphanage or something. Listen, son, I could give you some money, but I'm not going to. You get to that station, dog or no dog, see? Bye, kid. Good luck. Up there. See you later, Jerry. So long. See you later. I hope. Rags! Rags, where are 
you, Rags? Where are you? Rags! Rags! It's getting cold. Rags! Hey, 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 what are you yelling for? There's a decent neighborhood. Folks want to sleep. Sorry, mister. I lost my dog. Yeah, I'll wait until morning. Gee. Rags! 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 Well, what's up, kid? Oh, oh hello, mister. You live around here? No, I... Well, what you doing in this neighborhood? Looking for my dog. Yeah? At two o'clock in the morning? Yes, sir. Where do you live? Well, I... Quit I, stalling now. I'm not. I, I live with the circus. Yeah? It's leaving town. I know. That's why I gotta get my dog before they... Sorry, son, but I gotta run you in. What you got in your pockets? Hmm. Nothing. Good. All right, get moving. But I haven't done anything. Maybe not. But there's been some petty thieving on this beat the last few nights, and we got orders to run in anyone at this time of night who can't explain what they're doing. Come on, get going. But I can't explain. Gee, mister, please don't take me in. I just gotta get that dog. The train's leaving in about an hour, and... All right, all right. You can explain it to the desk sergeant. You got plenty of time to make that train. But I gotta get my dog. Here we are, kid. Here's the radio car. Won't take a minute to check your story. All right, get in. There we are. Now, no tricks, kid. Honest, mister. I've been trying to find my dog all evening. He got away from the wagon and must have got frightened while they were moving the circus. I thought you said you belonged to the circus. We do. Then why'd he be scared? Ain't he used to moving? Well, you see, we just joined. Just today. Oh, so you live around here, eh? Mm, no, we... We just been here a few weeks. Well, where'd you stay? Oh, well, I, oh, we, we yeah, stayed. Yeah, funnier and funnier. You'll have to tell a better story to the desk sergeant. Well, here we are. Out you get. All right, come on in here now. Hello, Sarge. Oh, Tom. Well, where'd you get the boy? I uh, picked him up in the woodlawn section. Yeah? <laughs> Pretty young. What's your name, son? Jerry Dugan. Jerry Dugan, huh? Dugan. That's funny. That name's familiar. Hey, wait a minute. That's the name of the boy that O'Brien woman sent in the complaint about. The kid that skipped owing rent. Had a dog, I think. Here, yeah, let me look through these files. Oh, yeah? Well, it ties in, then. This kid claimed he was looking for his dog. What kind of dog was it? White, not so big, and kind of curly. Mm, ah, here it is. Yep, that's what I thought. Jerry Dugan, a miner, wanted. Two weeks rent, and uh, let me see. Yeah, you got freckles all right. Brown hair, blue eyes, about 11, and a white dog. There was no dog with him. That's what I told you. I, I was looking for him. Well, I'm afraid that clinches it, son. I guess we'll have to lock you up for the night. Oh, no, not tonight. Oh, gee, you can't do that. What do you mean, can't? Oh, I, I mean, but gee, the circus is leaving town in about an hour, and, and I... Uh, still sticking to that circus yarn, eh? But, honest, it's true. Gee, mister, can't you believe me? There'll be plenty of time to check on that tomorrow. You see, in this report, it says you're an orphan. And... Yeah, that's true. Dad just died only last week. Well, I'm sorry, son, but you see this lady, uh, uh, what's her name? Mrs. O'Brien. Yeah, Mrs. O'Brien. She says she's trying to arrange to have the boy put in an orphanage. Oh, no, you can't do that. I'm afraid I wouldn't have anything to do with that. But, but an orphanage... Well, they'd take good care of you, good food and... Oh, no. Well, no, we'll see about all that in the morning, go... buddy. No, you can't do that to me. Now, 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 just take it easy. You got a good night's sleep, and then you'll feel different. No, I won't. Anyhow, how can I sleep with rags gone and the circus gone, and, and it'll be just too late? Sorry, but with all the woodlawn trouble in the past few nights, and you being at large, according to the claim of this O'Brien woman, I can't let you go without checking pretty thoroughly. Uh, Tom, put him in 113. Night, kid. No, please. My dog, I, you can't put me in jail. You can't. I don't want to. Please let me alone.
Jason. Jason, have they found Jerry? No, Patsy. But I've been talking to Whitey. Seems he picked the kid up and drove him toward town. He was looking for Rags, but Whitey thinks he'll be here by a quarter to three. He told him 15 minutes earlier than the train pulls out, so he'd be sure and make it. But it's almost three now, and Jerry's not here. You don't think he could have gotten into any trouble, do you? No, now don't you worry your pretty head about Jerry. He'll get here, Patsy. Uh, Mom's told me that you'd found Rags. Yeah, he was having a wonderful time sniffing around the ashes. I was afraid he'd get run over with all those wagons and things, so I locked him up in my place. I tried to feed him, but he acted funny. I guess he's not feeling so well. Oh, poor little mutt. All that excitement of doing his act and everything. What do you mean, doing his act? Well, didn't you hear? No. Well, Rags followed Bumps into the ring last night and went through a routine that had the audience laughing so they were practically in the aisle. You don't mean it. Yes, I do. I heard Mr. Randall say that they were going to put the dog in the act. Bumps was pleased pink. I never saw anyone so surprised as Bumps when he found that dog following him. <laughs> <laughs> he was crazier than usual trying to get that pup out of the ring. See what a trooper that clown is. Best in the business. I laughed so I cried and had to do my makeup all over again before going on with my own act. <laughs> He's a cute dog, all right. <laughs> I'll say. Funny thing, he wouldn't eat. I got him a nice bone from the cook's tent. Jason, it's 20 minutes of three. Jerry's not here yet. He won't come without that dog. Sure he will. No, he won't, Jason, I know. He worships that dog. He'd give up the circus and everything for it. And, and you've got the dog and he doesn't even know it. You've just got to find him, Jason. Well, I, I've no idea where to look. I... Say, just a minute. Hey, taxi. Taxi, mister? Yeah, just a minute. Listen, Patsy, I'll cruise around town in that taxi for a few minutes. I might just happen to see him. But, Jason... Don't I... worry, I'll catch the train, all right. You stay here and keep a lookout for Jerry. He might get back before I do. Good luck. And, Jason, you might try the police station. Quick, driver, step on it. Right through town. <laughs> 